couple of weeks ago, I made a video on cycling shoes with shoelaces. And in that video, I told you I would be doing a separate video reviewing my Giro BR90 off-road performance cycling shoe. In fact, I'm gonna do a review of this Empire VR9. And today is the day. And I have a special guest, my sister, who also has this shoe, will appear in Life's a Gem all the way from Spain to tell you what she thinks about this beautiful, beautiful shoe. supposed to be a lightweight shoe so the website claims uh it is 305 grams for the 7.5 uh, sized shoe so we will put that to the test we're actually going to put it on the scale and see if it actually weighs 305 grams it's off by a few grams but no big deal and the next thing i really like about this shoe is that it is obviously black they come in different colors but i really like the black and i really like the tornasol what is that called in english iridescent these shoes come in this travel size to baggy. And in the bag, you will find customizable insoles, which is actually really cool. You can always stick these insoles in your shoe to adjust, adjust it to your needs or your comfort level. I've never used them before, but I think it's pretty cool that they you know, add this for you. And it also comes with extra shoelaces. I've never used these before but i think i will change them and look how nice it's going to look with the iridescent logo Ooh. when you go traveling sometimes you put your shoes with the rest of your clothes and everything gets muddy and messy and that so you can always stick your shoes in here and keep everything else nice and clean i like that even though the material looks like leather it is actually synthetic and it is very soft but resistant at the same time. I find that in the years that I've been wearing this shoe, um, it still looks pretty intact. The material looks amazing. So they won't stretch with weather or wear. Um, the other thing is that they come with Vibram soles. I really love these soles. They're super thick and the tread is so grippy. Anytime I've had to get off my bike to walk rocky sections, these have been amazing. So. This shoe is pretty much perfect, except for the narrow toe box. I would say I have a pretty narrow foot, but when it comes to my toes, I like to be able to wiggle them around and spread them out and feel free. But I cannot do that with these shoes. And part of the reason why is because I think you need to size up. If you decide to get these shoes, I recommend that you size up at least half a size because uh, yeah, the the toe box is, is definitely an issue. And for the rest of your foot, if you have a wider foot, then that's fine because you can always adjust your shoelace. But if you have that problem where you feel like you you get anxiety, if you can't like spread your toes, then I highly recommend that you size up. And that's it. Other than that, everything else is amazing. I really love this shoe. Actually, my sister got these shoes first and she loved them so much that she convinced me to get them for myself. So if you wanna know why she loves these shoes, all the way from Spain, here is my beautiful sister. Thank you for helping me with this video and come back soon so we can ride bikes and be shoe twins again. <laughs> Hello everybody, my name is Ale Casillas. I'm Gemma's sister and today she asked me to do this really small video for her um, talking about my cycling shoes, which are the Giro Empire shoes. They are black, they have the holographic logo in the front and they have laces. These are the mountain bike shoes, which I really, really love because they allow me to walk when I'm riding. If I want to stop and take a picture, um, I can easily get off my bike and walk on them. So I love the, the mountain bike shoe version. They are really sleek, as you can see. Well, at least I think they're sleek. You can easily switch out the lace. This is the teal color that came with my um, shoes and I can just switch it out and it feels like I have a whole new different shoe. They look kind of um, vintage inspired because of the shoelaces but at the same time they're very like modern and sleek. 
Also, they just look like really cool regular shoes and I, I really like that. The other thing that I really like about these shoes is that they're very durable. I've had them for a couple of years and before that I had another pair. They were also durable but on the more inexpensive side and they look beat up. But these, I mean, they did not look like this earlier today. I wiped them with a towel, the damp towel, and then I rubbed some of that leather grease on them and they look, they look practically new even though they're not, you can tell because of the bottom sole. They are also not leather, even though I use the leather um, grease on them, they are vegan. So that's the other thing that I really love about these shoes. They match all my cycling gear and attire. When I put these shoelaces or when I just use the black ones, I can literally wear them with anything and that's also an advantage about this shoe. Those are my favorite things about my cycling shoes. Check them out if you're interested. I hope this was helpful and yeah, keep supporting. Thank you all so much for watching. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and see you all on the next one. Bye.